there my YouTube family and friends this is your girl Jackie from Jackie's Faith Journey I have my report to give to you for my yesterday's visit to the doctor here we go as you already know that I'm, I had done three chemotherapy sessions already and I have three more to go so before every session or every treatment, I have to see my oncologist who wants to know what's going on during the periods that um, I'm on the meds, taking them, and what I'm going through with my body. And it changes, you know, they want to know about it. So yes, I gave her all my reports. And my reports were, you know, the usual. Because what you feel all through this thing is that numbness, that tingling of the hands and the fingertips all the way to your toes. Especially my lower body, not my upper body. I struggle a lot with that area. Sometimes I feel weakened or mostly tired all the time. And one way of settling that is I have to sit down real quick. You know, as soon as I start feeling that pressure on my body, I have to sit down. I have to keep my, my foot elevated. I do both of them, but one is mostly the right leg that is giving me a hard time. It still have the swelling going on. Um, it draw down for a little bit, but as soon as I stand up, it's up again, puffy in my shoes. You know, and I have to choose what I wear on top of it too. So yes, um, the, whatever I'm feeling is natural for going through the chemotherapy. So um, they just want to make sure that I'm not doing anything excessive, you know, feeling any way excessive like um, diarrhea, uh, stomach upset, vomiting, any nauseated feeling and stuff like that. And I have to report if they come um anywhere near me which of course god is good to me i can give him thanks and praise he has been really keeping me good and i'm telling you that all these feelings that uh comes along with it, it it it's not affecting me i have a pill that i take for um muscle spasm and i have one for upset stomach anything like vomiting and nauseousness yes so I just refilled them on today because they were out and after that chemotherapy I don't want to be in that zone where I don't have the backup plan, right? So yes, God is really good to me because he kept that away from me and that's a part of you you don't want, you know, you know what vomiting and that kind of upset stomach kind of thing is, is like, most especially women. You know what it feels like. So if you can stay out of that zone, then that's what you try to do. So God is blessing me. God is still blessing me. And I know that he is on top of everything. Yes. So I have to go back on Monday for my treatment. And I will let you see or fully in on that when the time comes. Okay. Yes. So. I just have to thank my lucky stars, which is my father in heaven, who is on top of every situation that I go through. He's always there no matter what. He stays with me. Uh, uh, he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. And the joy I share as I tarry there, none other has ever known. Yes. I have to go to the garden, the garden of prayer. Yes, on my knees when sorrow rise, I talk to Jesus down on my knees. And I promise him that I will serve him, that I will serve him down on my knees. Where else, how oh else can you talk to this man? You know you can lie on your back on your bed and still talk to him. You can be sitting up and 
you, you, even over a cup of tea, whatever you're doing, you're driving uh, in a car and you're just giving him praise and glory, give him honor. Yes, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot um, do without giving him glory and praise. You cannot because otherwise, how else would you survive all the things that faces you in life? How else would you um, be able to go through these dark alleys, these narrow pathways? How else can you uh, really stand in the time of trouble? Praise God. It says, in the time of trouble, he shall hide me. In the time of trouble, he shall hide me. You know, whom shall I fear? That's the song. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear in the time of trouble he shall hide me in the time of trouble he shall hide me in the time of trouble he shall hide me whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? Whom shall of my life whom shall I fear praise the name of Jesus that is my solace that is my comfort that is my peace that is my joy it says that strength of my life i am telling you it's in these times in times like these that we need a savior it's in times like these that we need an anchor be very sure be very sure your anchor old and grips the solid rock you know this rock is Jesus the only one this rock is Jesus yes he is the one be very sure be very sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock yes I am sure where my anchor is. I want you to be sure where your anchor is. I want you to know that he will hold you in the palm of his hand. He will lift you up and carry you. Praise the name of Jesus when you can't carry yourself. I know that this is helping someone out there today. And on my next video I sing if I remember the song about your anchor. God is good to all of us. He's 
in good times and in bad times. He's always there. He's our rock, our shelter, and our hiding place. I pray that my video has helped even one person. I pray that the words of the song will touch deep down into your soul. I pray it will wake you up and make you feel revived again. I'm going through, but I have somebody with me to share my heavy load. Yes. And I tell you, those shadows is all around me along this dreary road. I have somebody with me all the way. I love on you today. And I pray that you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel as I continue to make progress in my health and that I will share it until I don't have any more words to say and I don't think that's possible, right? Because every day is a new song in your heart and I pray that it will help you as you get yourself saturated in the anointing, saturated in the hymns or the songs that I bring to you, saturated in the words that I share with you on today. I thank God for all of you. Thank you for sharing my pain and aches, my numbness with me. I appreciate you all. You have a wonderful evening and a very blessed rest of the afternoon. And I see you the next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.